In this video, I'm going to review the top three reasons that I personally believe why most investor doesn't make big money in the stock market or in Dogecoin. Here is the reason why. The first reason I really think is they are not skillful enough to detect massive opportunity so they can position themselves before the big wave happen. I say that one more time, a lot of investors, they are not skillful enough to willing to take risk and detect massive opportunity so they can position themselves before the big wave happen. So let me explain. In business, they normally what I call is three stage, okay? So let's keep it simple. The first stage I draw right here is basically the early adopter. The, er the early adapter is kind of like Elon Musk, you know, the multi-millionaire, the people that can see the vision of a technology or they can see something great is going to happen in the future, right? Like let's say for example, if someone before can know that in the future, e-com is going to explode. If someone know before in the future, that electric car is going to be massive, then they can position themselves before that happened like five, like 10 years ago. And that would be a huge fortune right now. Kind of like the people who know Bitcoin is the future five to 10 years ago, then they are the early adopter. And these are the people I like to say they are the real deal entrepreneur, the people who are created startup, right? Cause those are the risk taker. And if you guys ever created a startup and you like take a lot of risk, right? And you see how you're gonna solve this big problem and you know where the future is heading and you position your company and take massive risk, right? And those are the people they're gonna understand this message. So I call that is the early adopter. The second stage is the adopter. It's the people say, you know what? Uh, I don't wanna take a lot of risk yet, but I'm willing to take some risk. And you saw the early adopter uh, take the risk, say a lot of things and make a lot of sense. And you want to be part of the movement. You want to be part of it, right? So this is what I call the adopter. It's the believer, but they not position them early, okay? The next type of people that I call is the third stage is called the safety investor. The safety investor is basically is the people that if you study online, the safety investor is the type that they love to diversify. They want to make sure it's secure. I remember back then when I paid the money to study in a Motley Fool and they teach me how to diversify. They want to make sure the company is legit. They want to make sure that the company have revenue. They want to make sure everything is aligned. And finally, I mean, it's totally fine. But if you wait for everything to be aligned, most likely it's too safe. And obviously, you're probably gonna make some money, but you're not gonna make big. And this is what I call the safety investor. There's nothing wrong with this, but I noticed that a lot of people, they are talking about how to be safety, right? So let's say they diversify, let's wait for this company to have this X, Y, Z. So now, let me give you a perfect example. When I watch the videos, the social network, and I remember there's a time when this guy um, is called Sean Parker, he saw his girlfriend in the room. You know, after the shower, she was playing on a social media. And he was like, what is the thing that you are watching? What is the thing that you're playing? He's, and she said, it's like, I'm on this social media network. And he asked like, what is that social media network? She said, it's Facebook. So Sean uh, Parker, he detect the opportunity right away. What is the thing that caused her to be so addictive to that right after the shower, she have to go and go on her social media. And right after that moment, Sean Parker, he called, he called Mark Zuckerberg up. He messaged Mark Zuckerberg and fly to California and met with a dude. He said, this is a multi-billion dollar idea. And Sean Parker worked with Mark Zuckerberg and the rest is history. And now Facebook become a multi-billion dollar company. So Sean Parker is the early adopter that he detect the opportunity even before Facebook make any dollars. So that is what I wanna say. If you are the early adopter, when no one really believes social media is the big thing, right? If you are the early adopter who believe that Bitcoin is the next big thing, 
then you position right here, you're gonna make massive amount of money, but there are only a few people that are able to do those kind of thing, right? Next thing I want to mention is kind of like Tesla. Tesla, uh, back in the day, when Elon Musk, he think that electric car is gonna be huge. And during the time, Tesla is a very, very tiny company. And Toyota, Honda, BMW, all those companies is massive. And they think that Tesla is a joke. What are you talking about? You want to build a, an electric car? It's not gonna work. You know, you're not gonna able to drive around for a mile. It's gonna shut down. So Elon Musk, he's the man with vision. And during that time, he put a lot of his fortune into Tesla. And guess what happened? Where Tesla right now is a multi-billion dollar company. And it's exceed like Toyota, it's exceed like Honda, and many different companies. But guess what happened? Elon Musk, during that time, the company doesn't make any kind of revenue. It doesn't generate any kind of profit for like over a decade. And where is Tesla right now, guy? I want to let you guys know this. A lot of time, the safety investor you know, the, uh, the adopter, they don't really see the vision clearly yet. But the early adopter, the people like Elon Musk, the people like Mark Zuckerberg, the people like Sean Parker, they are the early adopter. They see something that other people cannot see at the moment before it becomes too obvious. Because when it can become so obvious, everyone can really see. So what I want to say to you guys is this thing right here. Bitcoin is the same thing. Bitcoin is the exact same thing before. No one really believed to Bitcoin. And guess where Bitcoin is right now? And the same thing with, with Dogecoin, right? Dogecoin, one of the reason the opportunity is allow us to make so much money in Dogecoin is this. We are study the market. We detect the opportunity and we want to position ourselves to become the early adopter. And obviously a lot of safety investor they're probably gonna think like, oh, you know what Jimmy say doesn't make any sense. It's too risky right now. It's probably a meme coin. It's a scam. It's gonna go down. Everybody's gonna die. We're gonna lose money. But it's totally okay because that is what is supposed to be for the safety investor. It's totally normal. I expect that to happen. So what happened, guy? During the time when no one really believed much into the dose corn and they think it's a joke, guess what happened? Several months ago, when I saw the opportunity in dose corn, like many people before, they saw the opportunity in Facebook, like Sean Parker, he saw his girlfriend on the social media and said, Oh, this is an opportunity. I saw those coins, the opportunity. I jumped right in, purchased massive amount of those corn with things smart brother, my brother Leon and Long, and we positioned ourselves before the big wave. We detect the opportunity. We willing to take massive amount of risk that worth it. And we put ourselves there before the big wave happened. And guess what happened? Last few weeks, it happened. The wave happened, guy. So it jumped from a few cents, three to four cents, all the way up to um, 30 something cents to 40 cents. And now, now the adopter, it's you, right, watching this video, say, hey, you know what, it makes a lot of sense, 20 cents, 30 cents, it's good. And now you think it is good to jump in. This all the adopter, guy. This all the believer. They start to believe more, but there's still a lot of safety investors. They think it's the meme coin. So I want to let you guys know this thing right here, guy. The number one key in here, I'm talking about this is the message for the genius investor, for the people that are willing to take risks, is if you want to make massive amount of money on this planet, on this earth, or any kind of business, you have to take risks, right? You have to take massive amount of risk. T tell me one thing. Do you see any kind of startup that doesn't take risk and become multi-millionaire or multi-billionaire? There's no kind of startup on this planet that doesn't take risk and no guarantee 100% to become wealthy. There's no way, right? Every business that I involve in, I see the opportunity to solve a big problem. I go in there, take massive risk. Do I know it's gonna work 100%? No, no way. But I work my ass off and I believe into the process and let's see everything unfold. So that's the first key, guy. Now, you got ready for the second key? The second key is this. The second reason why most investors, they don't make big money in the stock market and in crypto or those coins like this. They cannot take risk, guy. They cannot take risk and they are panicking if the market have a huge pullback or massive drop. 
It's just like, for example, I want to be wealthy, Jimmy. I want to become a millionaire. I want to join the fund. I want to ride. I want to make money, right? But guess what happened? You know, they, they saw those corn at 40 cents, 45 cents. They jumped right in, right? You know, they may say themselves they are the believer. They jumped right in. And guess what happened? When those corn went down to like 20, 25 cents, and let's say today, 22 cents. Oh, shit. They are, they are so tired. They are freak out. They are panicking, right? They are worried. And this are the people, they say they want to take massive risk, but finally, thing doesn't work out. They don't, they don't have the patience, and they are fear. They are worried. Success people, successful entrepreneurs, they take risks, but they have patience, and they have the vision, and they are calm, guy. So I just want to let you guys know that this is why they don't make the money. Because when the market going down from 45 cents to, to, to 20 cents or 25 cents, they are panicking. And guess what happened? When they're panicking, they withdraw, they cut loss, they lose money. And after that, they hear their friend, their family, you know, and the people around them talk, talk bad thing about those corn, and they're out. I'm not just saying this thing just only for those corn, it's for everything, whether stock or crypto, whatever it is, okay? So this is how it's allow us to win the money is I take a massive risk, okay? I buy a lot more when those coins is low. The moment I saw the vision, I remember the time last one or two months when those coins went spike all the way up to nine cent when Elon Musk give a shout out. So I already buy it already from nine cent. And later on, it dropped back down to four cent. People are freaked out, guys. Oh, it's the end of the world. They lose money. You know, everybody, like, they, they, they jump out. They worry. Guess what I do? Think smart brother, me, Leon, and Long, we power a ton of money into those corn. All right? During that time, people still think it's a meme corn. We power a lot of money into. We add up our position into those corn because we see the vision of those corn. And maybe you guys watch this video, you may think like, oh, he could probably get lucky. Maybe. Okay, but I want to let you guys know is when you see the vision, when you see the opportunity, you gotta get that punch, okay? And let's see how things unfold. So let's say, let me tell you another story. The one of the story that, that hit the headline uh, last few weeks is this guy. He buy from India, he buy $10,000 only of Bitcoin. And during that time, he buy whether it's $1 or $2. But the point I want to make is, this guy, he's not, he not wealthy, he's just like me and you. But he saw the vision of Bitcoin just like the way I saw the vision of Dogecoin. And guess what happened? During that time, many multi-billionaires, when, when many multi-millionaires, many media during that time, many institutions not even believe into Bitcoin and think Bitcoin is a scam, right? And they don't really support Bitcoin. Every, a lot of people talk bad about Bitcoin, but he saw the future of Bitcoin. So he purchased, he take a lot of things that he purchased, $10,000 of Bitcoin, and he hold it until now. When many people, they see short-term profit, they already take out, but him still keep it until now. And guess where he at right now? He are a billionaire. And I think he really totally deserved that. So guess what happened, guys? We, during the time, when, when people are lack of faith, when people, they're scared, they are worried, we at our position into those coins. We purchased over $500,000 in those coins. And during that time, it's, am, am I scared? Maybe a little bit, but the thing is when I see the vision, my vision is bigger than my fear. So we power in, and because of that, we capture an opportunity, and we profit over four to $5 million. Um, right now with those corn. So I want to share with you guys all those things which is really really important So I just mentioned about a lot of people if they cannot take risk They are panicking then don't invest but when you invest you have to have the vision the third thing guy is this Many investors nowadays, okay beside the fact they are panicking they are not learning from their mistake Many people when they make a mistake, they don't look back of the mistake that they make and they don't learn from it. So they they not learn from the mistake quickly so they can grow and become more skillful. You know what, in the stock market, I'm just like you. And when I studied the stock market, I lose a lot of money at the beginning, right? But what make me different is when I lose money, I take a, a piece of paper out, I take a notebook down, and I write down my mistake that cost me money, thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, 
and I write out a principle that I won't make the same mistake the next time. And I write out a principle, it helped me to make more money the next time or in the long run. So principle is what really important in the stock. You can make the mistake one, but try not to make the mistake try. But the important key here is you have to keep on learning and growing and become more skillful. If right now, if you don't make money in, in, in the stock or crypto, be honest to yourself. Probably you are, you are not skillful enough. Admit it to yourself. And if you, you, you are not skillful enough, practice. Learn from who that are skillful enough. Put your ego down and learn, guy. That's what I do. I pay the money to the motley fool. I pay the money from, for, for, to, to the mentor. I study a lot and I'm still learning and growing. And of course, you know what? Am I perfect? No. I still gonna make mistakes, but I learn from my mistakes and keep on growing. So those are the top three guys. Number one, they're not skillful enough to see massive opportunity and position themselves before the way. Number two is they cannot take risk and are panicking when the market pull back. And number three, guys, is they not learn from their mistake. You got not from you learn from your mistake and grow and practice to become more skillful. I hope this video is really helpful and it's to inspire you to take action to become a more skillful investor and always invest like a genius.